Hi everybody! My name is Lee and I am the director of this production of As You Like It. Now, let me tell you a little bit about what a director does because it's a really fun job. Oh, first, this is my friend. She's a sheep. And I'm really glad that she could be here today. Hi! So, what a director does is a director's job is to be the person who uses her imagination to think of the big ideas about how a group of artists are going to put on a production of a play. Now, my favorite thing about this production that we're doing is that we didn't even need a theater to do it. We are doing this production online, which is amazing, and we're doing it throughout New York City. So if you think being a director sounds like a fun job, I think you're really going to love this project I'm about to show you, and I hope it inspires you to realize that you can put on a production of a play wherever and whenever you want. You don't need a theater to do it. But you are going to need some actors. That's something all of us directors need. And I thought it would be fun if your actors were, ta-da, sheep puppets. So I'm going to show you a little project today about how you can make a puppet just like this at home. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. I'm going to take you off. All right, here we go. Now, first, let me show you some of the supplies you'll need. It should be pretty simple things that you already have at home. First and foremost, you're going to want, of course, a sock. Now, I chose to make my sheep a black and white sheep, but you could do an all white sheep or pretty much any color sheep you want. You could even do like a green sheep. That would be really cool. So a sock. Um, I used tape to put my puppet together because I wanted to be able to wear that sock again. But if you're looking for something that will last a little bit longer, you can use a glue gun or you could use Velcro that has a little sticky back and any and all of those things would work really nicely. Then, of course, if you're gonna wanna make a fluffy sheep, you're going to need some cotton balls. And I ended up using some colored pencils, or you could use markers or crayons. I had a pink one and a black one. And then you're gonna need some paper, some craft paper, construction paper, and some scissors. And that should be everything that you need to get started. Now, I got started by making the body parts of my sheep, these cute little ears and the nose and the eyeballs. So all I did to make that was just draw some shapes of the things that I wanted it to be. I made a little template for the ears in case I wanted to make a few sheep, a whole flock of sheep. Then I would be able to use this over and over again. So I made it looking kind of like a leaf. So it's long and it's round on one side, a little pointier on the other side. That's the side that's going to connect to her head. So I went ahead and I just put it down and I traced it with one of my pencils. I did too. And then I colored both sides of my sheep's ear. If you're using construction paper or if you have a white sheep, you don't have to color it at all. But it would be fun to add a little bit of the inside of the ear. So I drew a really similar shape inside just like that. And then I just went ahead and colored it all in. So my lamb can have a really cute little inside of her ear. And that's going to go like that. Then for the nose, I made a shape that looks kind of like a little heart, like a little squishy heart. And then the same thing, I decided to color my lamb's nose in pink. Ta-da! And then for the eyes, I just made two little circles like that. And then I'm going to use my black color pencil to give her some pupils. <laughs> She looks like she's staring at you, which I think is really fun. She's a very expressive sheep. And then I went ahead and I just cut all of those pieces out and started to attach them to my sheep. So I'm going to put this, well, actually, I'm going to put the one that doesn't have anything on her yet. Ta-da, just my sock. And sometimes you can make a sock puppet and have them talk like this, but I thought that this made my sheep's face look a little too long. So to make it a little cuter, I just tucked my thumb in like that and then folded my other fingers over like this. And that's her little mouth there. This is the heel. She looks like she has a big chin. So this is your sheep. And the first thing I did was I took the ears. And I decided that the, I thought the ears looked really cute if they were coming like this. So I just took a little bit of tape like that, and I taped the ear sort of where my knuckle is, this knuckle right there. Boop. 
and I taped one here and on the other side. Then I'm going to borrow my other sheep's eyeballs. Uh oh. Then for the eyes, I wanted to get the flat part of my fingers right here so that in, so if I put it here, you can't even see what my sheep is looking at. So I decided to put my eyeballs right there and right there. I like to put my eyeballs far apart, but let me show you. You can make sheep that have all different kinds of expressions if you just change the position of the eyes. It's like a totally different character. So up to you, play around with it. That's another reason I like to use tape is because I can change my mind. And then the nose, I just put right there and the tips of my fingers, just like that. Hi, I need some fleece. So to put fleece on your sheep, I'm gonna take this one off. I decided to take about three cotton balls like this, make like a little bit of hair for my sheep. So I actually taped, and again, you could glue gun, these three cotton balls together like this first. And I made sure that they were stuck together really nicely. And then when they are, I took those, I'll put this sheet back on again. And I glued them right on top of her head, just like that. And the ears, if I had taped the ears on, are gonna be coming out right like this. And that's it. Then you have one of your actors to put on whatever kind of plays you, the director, decide to put on. One of my really favorite things about being a director is getting my friends to work on plays with me. So you should definitely make some sheep puppets, grab some friends, and have some fun putting on your own plays wherever you want. Thanks for hanging out with me and my sheep. Bye.